Hello everyone and welcome back to the United States of America in this hard mode playthrough of Transport Fever 2 with the goal of connecting the majority of the cities and satisfying their cargo needs. In the previous episode we connected our second machines production in the Ford GM factory in Detroit with the US Steel production in Chicago. In between the episodes I did a few infrastructure changes that I would love to show you now. For example this whole setup here has changed a little bit. Now we have this uh, exit from here for the um, cargo trains that are coming from the Northeast Distribution Center to be able to smoothly join to the main line over here. We have the main connection between the NEDC and all the northern cities coming over here like that as you can see here because we have trains passing uh, both directions between uh, let's say Pittsburgh and the other cities over there and the Northeast Distribution Center. We have this tunnel here which is currently used by what is this three lines yeah to connect to the Pittsburgh on Matt Steel or anything else over there but I think it's primarily or and currently only used for this station okay this tunnel I think it was from before this bridge here as well and yeah that's um, relieving a little bit the stops over here for trains waiting for each other because there is a lot of traffic coming to the NEDC and going back to the CDC in the north so this was totally necessary okay um what else ah here yeah so here i made a turn around rail which uh helps to lower the amount of time that we need so the rate here is higher or we need less trains and we can transport more cargo with less vehicles by allowing them to just go back straight to where do they go actually to chicago yeah instead of previously was there were a circle made through here and that was a longer path okay and yeah the last one is this road here which connects the northeast distribution center and detroit for a few reasons um, they're very close as you can see it was not big of a deal I think I'm going to also start delivering the goods to the city through this road to the central cargo station here and then dropping them off in the city because removing traffic from and trains from the rail infrastructure is always good um, probably there is a few other but they're smaller or i just don't remember them so i guess that's it for now the other things that i did are primarily line changes or lane changes line line changes yeah so let's start from pittsburgh new york steel so you will see this oh okay this is not going great uh let's first fix it because this is going to cause trouble. It's this one, I think. Yeah, let's give them two more each. 396. Okay, let's increase it even more. Yeah, it's still good, which is great. It's still good, which is great. Awesome. Good English. Uh, so yeah, Pittsburgh, New York. I am delivering the steel from the Pittsburgh Steel factory to New York. Why? Well, because then I'm grabbing it from New York, from the port that I reintroduced for New York, and then I'm delivering it to Boston. Why? Well, again, because that allows me to have less traffic on the rail infrastructure and I love using ships when I can. Also it's kind of making sense because this line here uh, produces more money than the one that previously I had to Boston where I was delivering the steel directly to Boston. 
All right. Of course, the steel is then dropped here, where it's delivered to the Scene Labs machines factory here in Boston. Ah, another thing that I did in the majority of cases where I could, I already upgraded to the next generation of uh, trams. I don't know, because they are faster. So I like that. I also I introduced these new trucks that we uh, got in many places because they are really really good for transporting goods faster in uh, especially in longer routes like this one here all right uh what else is happening here so i decided that i'm going to start delivering all produced end goods like food and machines directly to the nedc and from there, each city is going to have a delivery and they're going to like pull those goods from the um, delivery network. So there is no more drops from directly from the production here in Boston to Boston itself. Boston now has its boxcar delivery from the NEDC, as you can see here, delivering currently 600 goods. This one is food and machines at the moment the drops are happening from the main cargo station as it was initially planned and look at that i actually have a very high rate of cargo supply in boston at the moment i found out after a lot a lot of research that two things are uh, happening now first here we can see the suppliers now consumers tab who is consuming the goods produced by this factory? Currently, it is Boston, because New York is getting it from somewhere else. You will see soon enough. All right, so this coverage area is absolutely working as intended, which means each of the highlighted in white buildings is going to get covered. That means that this number here depends on the coverage area of these uh, buildings so if you cover all the buildings all the demand of the city which currently is 293 would be considered as a consumer in the factory i thought i read somewhere that that doesn't exactly work like that or the buildings on the edges are not going to get supply that is wrong that actually does not work like that they do get supplied and because here my city is a little bit bigger i have two stations so my drop off is consisted of two stations together with the food one as well it's these two so adding more stations doesn't do anything as long as everything is covered eventually this is going to you i have 100 percent here eventually you're going to get to 100 supply of course if you produce enough goods now i also read somewhere that um this rate here matters it kind of does to the extent of if you have let's say big trams that are delivering things and they have a, a, a higher frequency or this is a lower frequency then um then yes you will rarely have the 100 percent because every 60 seconds the um, the buildings which consume the goods kind of like consume them and then they need more so if this is lower than 60 seconds here, you will definitely have your maximum supply rating for the city. So that's pretty good to know. Um, that's why I'm, I changed the drops to use um, trucks. Not everywhere at the moment because I have to go through all the cities and uh, do it everywhere else. But yep, that's it. You see, I have 280 here from 284 going down a little bit why well because i have trams and my frequency is 71 seconds so sometimes it's going to be on the max but sometimes it's not going to be on the max and currently the max is actually 284 because that's how much it's consuming from uh the factory so it's not going to be 294 which is interesting aha you see because of this building here and maybe something else which i'm not seeing right now Maybe that one. Yeah, probably. Anyway, so this highlighted area is all going to get supply if you deliver enough goods. So it doesn't matter 
uh, if it's on the edges or not. I, I read in multiple uh, places that it does, but it doesn't. Okay, so uh, even with one station, you could achieve maximum supply rating as long as you have enough uh, goods manufactured. Okay, that took me a while to figure out after a lot of testing, but yeah, it works. Okay, so now all the machines and all the food, we are delivering it here. From here, it goes to the port and from the port, we are using these beautiful, beautiful ships to deliver it back to New York and New York has a boxcar delivery. So this is used to take all the produced goods from Boston from the New York cargo station to NEDC and then this is this line is also used to pull from the NEDC to New York everything that is delivered by a boxcar. You can see here that I am loading and unloading in both places and actually this also produces me a lot more money. So this is a much better um, way to exploit the system but also to make sure that it's much easier to maintain in such a way the the lines because i know exactly how much the rate of each of these has to be because i just have to know this is going to be 400 this is going to be 400 so let's say this line has to be at 800 800 pulling from here because it's only 600 gram coming coming from the other station delivered to boston and then i have where is it uh this one oh this one is 761 which means that this is probably going to increase no 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 no. actually this probably can handle more but currently i'm not even producing my maximum which is kind of weird to be honest i have to figure out why maybe i don't consume enough yeah which is again weird i don't know why but we will figure it out anyway um as you can see this one is also producing me a lot of money because i'm taking the steel from here bringing it here and then all the goods back so a little bit of exploitation of the system but it helps a lot with the distribution of uh, manufactured goods and products you see this is very interesting i don't understand why this is so high anyhow uh yeah that's it okay let's continue so what is next um ah yeah maybe this one i forgot to say yeah so i removed all this train setup here because it was i figured out it's a stupid i don't know why i even decided to do it like that the locks are being delivered here from through this road to montreal and from here we have only one line delivering them and i changed this as well i decided that i'm going to use the um, nedc primarily and mostly and if possible only for end products with a few exceptions the current exception is this grain being delivered here because that's how i decided to do it and it kind of makes more sense in terms of money because otherwise i have to make a circle to deliver it here and another circle here and this is probably not going to be very profitable also i'm going to uh, it's going to be weird because they have to come here and then from here have to exit from here it's going to be a long path which is not going to produce me money because the money is calculated based on how uh, a bird can fly so this is this is the line i have to literally like deliver it like that which i could decide to do with trucks i might actually we can do it now in this episode maybe it makes sense yeah i will also relieve some trains from the nedc but currently it doesn't matter because they are coming on this side of the um, of nedc and as you can see it's almost no one is currently coming here the majority of trains are on the other side this is probably going to change for, since uh, i have to start delivering things to these three cities and they're probably going to be on that side on the right side of nedc the right side from the this should be the south the south uh side not the right side <laughs> so yeah <coughs> okay so let's go back to the change we have this line with a lot of trains as you can see and 800 capacity because we have two forests producing logs right now so what is it doing coming here going to pittsburgh delivering all the locks here for the Pittsburgh sawmill and here it's also loading the planks oops sorry and directly delivering them to Detroit the planks obviously are going to be uh, 
only 400, but it doesn't matter because it's still doing fairly well, this line. The problem with the line is that it makes a lot of circles. So this is delivered with a straight line from here. I could think of constructing a, a rail through all the mountain, potentially, but that would be done just to increase the uh, financing output of of this line. Nothing else is going to use it, probably. I think so. Unless maybe deliveries to Montreal and things like that. It could start making more sense uh, once I have, I don't know, more production around here and I start deliver things to Detroit and Toronto. I could think about it to just directly like connect these two because this is all wasted uh, money. And as you can see, it's currently not, it's currently like break even. But it could be profitable. Certainly could be. Especially uh, the log deliveries to here. Because this one, there is there is no solution for, for, the, for the rest of the journey. Alright. Um, there is more. We have... What is it? This one. Okay, this is Chicago, Pittsburgh, and this is Chicago. What is this doing? Let's see. In Chicago, it's loading the ore and unloading grain. Why? Because it delivers the, uh, the iron here in Pittsburgh for the steel plant. But then it stops in the NEDC and gets all the grain. This is obviously going to change if I decide to directly deliver the grain here. And that's one of the reasons why I might not. Because right now this is making me more money because it delivers more goods. You know, if I deliver the grain directly to Chicago, this is going to uh, lose all the money that it produces this way. So it's again a little bit abusing the system and yeah maybe we will leave it how it is what else there was a small change that i did here for houston so what did we do we did the following um in this case i decided that uh it probably cannot work the way that i described meaning that i delivered the goods to the Southeast Distribution Center and then deliver them back to Houston because I would deliver them by uh, ship unless I decide to deliver them by train, which I might. Um, so currently the fuel drop still is staying here. We can actually decide to change that. Yeah, we can create again the train line. Hmm, might not be a bad idea. But in the meantime, we have the Houston refinery oil fuel, I changed this to first bring the, the oil to Houston for the refinery and then take the fuel back here. And from here we have the Houston SEDC delivery like that. Which doesn't use the waypoints. Okay, let's change that. So after this, please come here. And after that, there. Right? Yes. And now it's a little bit farther away from New Orleans. I hope it doesn't create a lot of pollution here. No, I don't think it does. It's pretty good. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, actually, I think we can do that. Uh, and then... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then all the fuel is going to be delivered immediately to uh, these buildings because here is where we have the, the fuel. Hmm. The problem is that if I uh, decide to do it how it was previously, the fuel uh, is going to be dropped here to be delivered to SCDC and then back to here. But this station where the drop, the drop for the CD is is going to not it's going to like clash with the demands of the two lines so instead of having the 400 to SEDC there is just going to immediately drop it here for the drop off there so it doesn't work uh in the way that I want it to which means we can create the fuel delivery again here yep why not 245 okay let's leave it here Let's create ourselves a line from your line from ACDC to Houston. This is going to be cargo rail delivery and oh, ACDC. Come on, Houston. 
And this is hero delivery. Okay, so here load hero and unload. And it's on the right. One, two, three, four, six. And okay, we have to see. Have to see how it's going here. And on the other side, yep, this used two. And this is fuel. Where is my depot here? And yeah, we can use this one. Uh, should have opened the line. Over here. It needs 245. Okay, it's fairly long way. Hmm. Let's see how long it is. Come on, come on. Three kilometers. Three, almost four kilometers. Okay, uh, it's fairly long. No, no. Let's buy the beautiful MILF. And then we will take the heavy ones. And let's see how we're going to do with one. SEDC Houston. 26. So I need 10. 10 would be fine, yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, I did that, right? <laughs> Okay, let's sell this one. Manage vehicles. Edit. Four, six, eight, ten. Two fifty-five. Awesome. And give it the color. Amazing. Okay. Now. Now. What we have to do is first let's see uh this one this one is at 400 which is fine but this one is not manage manage vehicles hmm what's going to happen if i replace you with uh, the faster one 165 not much it just gave me 15 more and it's much more expensive okay so no tanker so that means we need 300 450 375 ah yeah yeah of course they have to be six yeah there we go 450 okay now we need to change the fuel drop to take it from from here to the in drop okay and i will need less much less okay that's the line 656 is definitely not what we want and we also want probably to just replace them all with let's see Oh, oh, look at this beauty. Better build 359. Nice. Uh, let's see by running costs. We need something that makes sense for the CD. 60 kilometers per hour is probably plenty. These ones are expensive. Yeah, I think I want this one. Oh yeah, that's going to do the trick. Manage vehicles. Okay, this one is full, this one not. Goodbye. Oh no, I'm not waiting for you. Sorry. 92. Let's have two of them. That's probably going to be an overkill because the majority is going to be delivered through there. But okay, doing good. 62. 
151, that should be fine. 152. And that should be fine as well. Okay. Alright. There we go. Now this is going to produce me a lot, a lot of money. Awesome. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of time to start uh, doing stuff, I think. Ah, let's just come here and see what's going on with the terminals. Okay, so there is people stuck here, people lines stuck here. Okay, we have two which are on the same place, which is unacceptable. So let's say this one can go to 11. And then ACDC. Okay, that's that's looking good, right? Thing is that <clears throat> I also decided that I can just deliver all of them uh, in one place on the seventh or eighth. It's going to be much easier to manage. Uh, all right. Ah, last thing for preparation for things we're going to do now. Charlotte has been changed. As you can see here, we have less passenger terminals and one more cargo terminal for reasons that you're going to find out about soon. Because I want to start producing more things. And what more things we want to produce? That is goods. We have a lot of good demands. More than 400 currently. So we can utilize fully one factory. That will be Providence in Boston. It's a very, very complex chain. So uh, I have decided to start producing the oil over here. We have this El Paso oil well with the El Paso oil refinery. So first thing is first, we need to produce 400, two of those for maximum capacity. So we need to add another oil well. On the opposite side, next to it? No, I think opposite side is fine. Or maybe next to it, like this. It's like almost like it's one. That's cool. Or like that. Oh, oh yeah, this looks very nice. Okay, but for this to work, we need to delete that. And then. Okay. Add it something like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. Boom. Okay. Does it look good? I don't know. I think so. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, it cannot be perfect, right? Because the building itself is not... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if? What if? Wait, wait, what if? What if I do it like this? Ah, that looks even better. Oh, yes. I like it like that. Boom. Okay. Nice. I've stacked them even a little bit more, right? Let's make it nice. Okay, okay. I don't think I can do much better than this. There we go. Okay. Now. We need first. To connect there. Let's see how we're going to do it. Because I also have to deliver all of this um, oil. That is going to be produced. To. To here. Ah, yeah, I also added this road and the connection to the station so that we can deliver the the oil here. Actually, I don't think we need this road anymore. Okay. And I think this is a much better... Yeah, yeah, this is almost straight. <laughs> almost straight rail. All right. Now, that means that... Let's figure it out. So I'm going to have like the rail station somewhere around here, which means we can 
create the road. Mm, let's see. So a road like that. So my station could be somewhere around here. Okay. Okay, let's take a cargo station. This is going to be probably two. Two, I think two is fine. Something like that. Oh, we need another connection as well. And it looks good to me. Yeah. Okay, we are going to have a road with 80 kilometers for now. I could as well do a highway maybe? Nah, too much. Let's do a road with 80 kilometers. Oh, maybe I should have added the station on this side as well. Buildings on the right. Let's connect. Okay, something like this. Maybe we can go down a little bit. No, I cannot do anything. All right, in the road up to here. Okay, looks good. Right, two fifty, two fifty one. No, I cannot. It was perfect as it was initially. There we go. Okay, here we don't need this road. We can connect with that one. And I think it's going to be something... Something like this. Oh no, maybe I don't even need that one. Yep. Awesome. Okay, El Paso. Root. Wells. This is, this is El Paso Refinery. El Paso Oil Refinery. It's very funny how we have oil refineries, but also fuel refineries. This is usually one refinery in the real world. But it is what it is. Okay. Now, where are we going to have our station? I think it should be something like, let's see, buildings, cargo, terminal station, right? Okay, let's have it with 320 and only one and I will add the other one. Myself, I think I want to... Hmm. Have it something like this maybe i don't know you know what actually let's let's take the trucks first and see where they're going to lead us interesting so this is very high here i will start doing my turns if possible and when possible with 160 kilometers per hour oh because we are going to get better 60 something like this this one's 60 yeah 161 162 so that the other one is 160 for sure as well is this ugly a little bit and it doesn't work if i try to play nice okay I can maybe have the station on this side. No, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe we can start right after the bridge as well. Yeah, let's make an exit. A good looking exit. Like that. No. Man, this game sometimes does not want to work with you. On 
the 47. No, no, no. Let's make a better exit. Which is good. Let's try to get it here. How weird sometimes. Look at that. Unbelievable. Okay, okay. I guess it's not going to be that beautiful. Maybe if I use the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. One... 62. Sure. It's not that bad. Okay, this is it. This is it. There we go. Okay. Let's take the other one as well. Awesome. There we go. Okay, so... Ooh, a bridge. Why? Yeah, I will figure this out. Uh, one. Ah, okay. So we can have a very, very good one. So I just have to choose how to do the station. Can we have the station? Let's see. Maybe it's going to be this type of station, which means... Eh, it is what it is. And I will do it something like this. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. What happens if we add a rod like that as well? It works. It's not great, but it's something. Okay, and... And maybe the this part. Aha. Uh -huh. Something like that. Ooh, it's very nice. We can also have a small building. Or non building and add it later. Oh, let's have a small building. It's fine. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I like that. Looks very nice. And now the big review. 162 okay sure 162 great 4 383 yeah 380 379 that's the lowest oh but 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 the problem is this connection here Let's first do the connection and then I'm going to do the other things. Let's see. So, 161. 61. And now, please work. 170. Awesome. Can we have a parallel track? Yes, that's it. Great. Looks very nice. I like it. I like the end result of this. Uh, here we don't have any signals. Right? Yeah, here we do, but here we don't. Which means signals. 180 meters. Yeah, sure, fine. Uh, starting from here. This one is going to be like that, and we don't need that one. Here we're going to add them um, starting from here. I'll delete this one. Okay, and one before the station. And on the other side. There we go. Nice. Good, good connection here. Okay. A road depot. Funny story, I can actually use a train, a tram here, but no. 
what about on the other side? Actually, let it be here. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. There we go. Okay, and a line. Oil fuel. This is going to be our truck. And it is El Paso Oil. And it's going to be Root Oil Delivery. Whatever the oil was. Black. Maybe. Okay. This is Load This. Unload that and load this and here is unloaded. Awesome. Everything is done, right? We just need to buy. And in this case, it's going to be capacity. Yeah, not this one. But that one. Ooh, look at that. 300! Man, that's, that's old. <laughs> 1965. That's nothing for a truck these days. Cars have this horsepower. Wow, look at that. Look at that body. But it has all cargo. So how much rate this gave me? Oh, that's just five trucks then. No, wait. I need 800. Yeah. So that's 10 trucks. Copy, 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 copy. Copy. 805. Beautiful and amazing. All right. And we are already producing. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This one is ready. Now we need to create a line from here to deliver oil to Charlotte. This is El Paso Oil Cargo Rail. You can take both. And in Charlotte, you can take five and six. And you will load oil and you will unload here. Now. I do have, I do have this baby there, but it's probably not going to be a bad idea to just add myself another depot here. Cost just 20,000. Sorry, what? And the trains are going to cost me more for the two minutes which they're going to have to find their way. Now, they are going to be very, very fast. By the way, how are we with the cargo wagons? Did we get the new ones? No. Actually, we don't have better ones. I, I, I was pretty sure we do. Maybe I don't get them until 1980. Okay. So, we add this and then we add that. Buy and assign to... Ah, we didn't change the name of the line eight oh my god this is going to be 50 50 yes we need 400 rate oh so that's 50 50 that's four four trains 50 wagons four trains wait let me pause for a second or not uh Let's manage the line and here I'm going to tell it to full load indefinitely and I'm going to manage you and add you, I said 50 right? So if it's 4 trains, that's 12, 13, 13 per train, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, it's still good which is good. 108 yeah exactly 
Awesome. Okay. And this is, of course, Cargo Rail Delivery. And we have El Paso, Charlotte, Char Charlotte, <laughs> Oil Delivery. Awesome. Okay, this is set up. What else can I do? I can put this baby here and wait for it to get full. Tumors, Charlotte, Chemical, Plant. Okay, nice. We are producing. Did I... Oh, you see? And also, I also like to put this on too, because it kind of works a little bit better. I do not understand why, but it does, and they get uh, better organized when they're in the inside. The main one is the inside one. Alright. Everything here works, so we should continue. Now, obviously, we need to get the plastics from here to Boston. So let's do that. Charlotte, Boston. This is going to be cargo rail delivery. Charlotte, Boston, plastic delivery. Okay. Where is it? Uh, what color is plastic? This one. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So. In Charlotte. Oh, no, no. Oh, actually, yes. They're going to come from Boston, so they have to be on that side. Yeah. So that's one and... Why do I have so many? It should be less. One and two. What is three and four? One, two, three, four. What's going on here? Why do I have so many terminals? One, two, three, four. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's it. Now, let's make sure that this works properly. Uh, yeah, this train is not going to get full anytime soon, I can tell you that. This is on one. Right here. Line. One and two. Here you can take whatever. And in the meantime, we have Charlotte Current Supply. This should be renamed to Okla Farms Charlotte Current Supply. Okay. NEDC to Charlotte, El Paso to Charlotte, and Charlotte to Boston. Okay. These are deliveries, so they don't matter much. But let me first very quickly check if all of them are working fine since I made that change. This is 3 and 4. This is 3 and 4. And this is 3 and 4. Okay, everything's working. Let's play the game again. Okay, now we have the plastics being delivered there after I buy a train, of course. 
which I will buy. Over here. Okay. Locomotive. It's always the move because that's a long, long route. And we need a cargo for plastic with a box guard. Yes. Okay, let's add this and add it to Charlotte Boston. Okay. 16. 16. So I will need two trains of 10, 12, 13 boxcars. Boxcars are very heavy, by the way. Insanely heavy. But we will start with one train. 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Sorry. It's mediocre, unfortunately, but it's 211. Awesome. We are also going to make it purple or whatever that color is. Okay. It's going to lose money for a while. But it doesn't matter because we are profitable. <laughs> you see? Very profitable. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Hmm. Maybe I just had a delivery. Alright. Now. Consumers. It doesn't say anything yet. That's weird. Ah, maybe I didn't tell it what to pick up. load and a load in Boston ah, because it's not producing anything there yet yeah yeah okay all right all right all right sorry I'm I, I cannot say that's Matthew very sorry we also need steel here uh, and I have decided we are going to increase the capacity of Pittsburgh let's see Something like this. Yeah, looks nice. Steel, steel, steel. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's looking fine. It is connected. It is connected. It's kind of weird, but it's connected. Okay. We definitely need to increase this. Okay, this went up a little bit. We can delete. 421. Okay, it's coming down. Maybe a little bit more as well. You see, that's the thing. Sometimes... Okay, 388, I don't like. We will increase it to... This one again. Okay, we have 421. I will add one more eventually. One day. Ooh, by the way, let's check what happened here. This one is still staying, right? Oh my god, this is not fast at all. It's losing money. Production, shipment. Consumers 37. Why 37 and not 100? Right? Help uh, New Orleans? What? What? Wait, wait, wait. How is New Orleans delivering 63? By what logic? Oh, no, no, no. This one? Yep. No. Bad boy. <laughs> there you go exactly come on you see you have to be careful <laughs> you never know but this is very good that you have these tabs here because they can tell you when you make mistakes like that all right awesome awesome now this is going to go up 47 come on 48 there you go you see, Nashville now wants goods as well. Alright, so we placed this boy. We need to deliver coal and iron to it. 
Let's see. Yeah, I will add two coal mines here. Let's see how though. Maybe we can delete this. And then we're going to add a coal mine on that side here or like that. Or like that. Probably like that. It looks better, maybe? I don't know. Or like this, they look they look the same. Then maybe like that. Yeah. Or like this. Yeah, that, that actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, so it's going to be... Wait, let's see from here. But they are... Okay. Go down. Oh, I fucked it up. What is this? Can I remove the street? No. Okay, but it's on the level I think that I would love it to be. And something like that makes sense. A lot of sense. They look nice, I guess. Or it could be like that as well. Yeah, yeah, this also looks fine. Okay, and build. Ooh, no, 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 I need this. Thank you. And we are going to continue until... Please tell me that there is connections on this side. Oh, wow, there actually isn't. Sure. So I actually don't have a choice. Okay, so this has to go. Uh, where are the connections? Is there connections? No. They all, so the mines only have connections where the street is. Look. Does it, ah, no, it has on the other side as well. Here. Okay, let's make it like that then. Yep, yep. That is good. That is good. Maybe I can... Push it forward. And boom. Okay, and this is removed. And we increase this until here. Awesome. And manage vehicles. You know what? Replace them with better ones. Go. Dump truck. Mm. This is a dump truck. So, this one. Okay, let's replace and see what we get. Copy. 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 850. Awesome. Okay. This is already set up here to bring coal to Pittsburgh. Okay, that's good. You know, one thing though, it's mediocre. So, I will remove these boys and I will give them the MILF again. And now it's going to be good. And this is going to increase, believe me. But, we need to add one more for the new mine that we just added. Okay, this one I like very much how it looks, with the exception, of course, of uh, terrain tool. We need the smooth brush. Give me the big brush, but give me the strength to be lower. Okay, something like that. Let's smooth it up a little bit more. Okay, looks more reasonable now. Oh, maybe here there we go and it still looks like a mountainous mine but more pretty cool come on guys you can do it 
Okay, we need one more on that side. And where am I going to put it? I would love to put it in the mountain. So... Something like this? Yeah, I think so. Like that, for example. It's not going to be as good as on the other side, but... Yeah, but it has to go down. I think this is very nicely put. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, yes. Delete. Okay, we can delete that for now. And we are going to... Connect with the road from here. We are going to connect like that, I guess. And... Oh, no! Yes. Yes. Alright. Manage, replace with dump truck. That does go. Replace everyone. Four, five. We need 800. There we go. 806. Okay, this is set up. We already increased that one to 1200. And that's probably going to go higher even 149 years <laughs> oh <laughs> okay interestingly enough this is it connected i was i would expected it to start working by now but maybe it doesn't have consumers? I don't know. I guess we will figure this time, uh, uh, this one with time. Alright. Uh, last but not least. We need more iron. And we have more space here. For more iron. 809. Uh, with two trains. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe these ones can be bigger, mediocre. One kilometer. Bro, this is... This is 2.7. I think, yep, 46. Or maybe I will give them... I will make them uh, long, but with a better locomotive. It's currently doing really well in terms of money. But we will need more trains. Now that we increase the production capacity here. Now I'm very curious. I should probably have access if I put... Where is the iron? Yeah, probably. I, I, I think the station is going to have access. Okay. Boom. And boom. Come on. Boom. Yep. We need to delete those two. And just expand it like that. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so there will be a change. 52 years. There will be a change here. Uh, no, I need to edit. 80 kilometers it was 2.7 so if i edit it like that super quickly it's going to reach it for 500 meters so i think i can just replace them i guess i don't know mm, yeah it's going to be a big investment but let's see uh this is gondola Excellent, good. What happens before we reach? That's two. Hmm. That's the thing sometimes I, I don't know if it's worth it because the whole thing is 2.7, but they're going to be definitely faster. 
maybe it makes more sense and it's going to be cheaper to just do this. Uh, slow ones. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, first at this point. Where did I add it? Here. And add it here as well. Good. And then we can add more gondola to make them 320. It's still very, very good. Yeah, we are almost, almost there. We will need to just copy this. How much do I need? I need 1600, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is going to increase, cer certainly. Okay, let's see how it goes and how we go with the finances. Because these are three times more expensive, these locomotives, per year. Another thing we have to do here is add capacity for... Uh, we have... 6x4, 2400. Come on! Yes! Okay. That's a lot. A lot more ships. I'm curious if I will need more. No, I don't think so. I don't think I will need more terminals. I think they're going to be fine. Alright. Here... This is a copy. I'm curious if that's even going to work, to be honest. Uh, let's take one of the empty ones. Or maybe I can increase them to an 8. With 8. Because uh, they're with 6 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably not going to be a bad idea. They're the new ones, right? Yes. Okay, so we are going to sell... Wait, we are going to sell some of these guys okay how much is the capacity okay uh we are going to increase it a little bit is that going to be enough pretty sure so can you go faster for for one with eight two more here yeah 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 absolutely what what's going on that's impossible how are you blocked are you too oh did i make them too short no yes no 317 ah because it's a terminus right Who is blocked with who? Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that was... Okay, let's manage these guys. Yeah, you see, it's 1800 now. And let's solve this problem in this way. This is not going to cause much trouble, but please go back. There you go. And this should solve the problem. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Don't go there. Wait. Like this. Okay. And you go this way now. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Oof. All right. Uh, what were we doing here? Yes, we are 16... I'm currently having as much as I need. So I should sell some more as well. This one is empty, right? Yeah. Okay, goodbye. You are almost empty. Manage, replace. This is gondola. 
open wagons. All right. Okay, so one more. 16. Oh no, but it has to be 1200. 2400. Oh. Twenty six. Twenty four. Oh, there. Again? Why? Now this doesn't make sense. Where? I thought that I made you short enough. Why do you want to go there? There is... I don't see why they are trying to go there. Ah, this one might be even shorter, right? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I remember. 237. No, 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 no. Uh... Shit. Go back to the station and how much? Oh. Cargo, wait, platforms. So we have one, two, three, wait, one, two, three. Four, five, six. I need to have eight. Eight? Yes, eight. Right, and now it's three hundred and twenty. Yep, okay. Um, <laughs> so we should delete a few more and let's see. Okay. Wait, I, I was playing, I didn't pause. Oh no, no, please no. One hundred and one hundred and twenty sixteen. Okay. Good. Now, now I need a connection of one twenty. Here. Okay, and then another one. This one doesn't have an doesn't have to be 120, it has to be whatever. Because it's only for exiting trains. So there you go. And that's it. Uh <laughs> okay. Oh, these trains got bugged. We only need to put some signals. This would be a priority signal. And these ones are fine. Okay. And this works fine. Now. We are bringing more... What happened here? Okay. Oh, we have a traffic jam, I see. Yeah. It's a little bit problematic. 
Uh, but I don't think I can do much about it. I mean, I can cheat and directly like expand this station to somewhere around here and try to connect the port directly. Or well, I don't know, bring the port closer somehow. Yeah, I think it's going to figure itself. I think the problem somehow is here. Maybe I should stop. I should stop picking up coal. Let's see what happens if I stop picking up the coal from here and just... Maybe it's going to get faster. Manage line. Uh, which one is this? No, here. Don't... Don't load anything. 2138. 2757, you see? 2481. That's it. That's it. It's going to produce, obviously less money and this one still has access yeah okay and the last piece of the puzzle is here these ones need to go up to 1600 this is 22 21 interesting interesting choice Twenty-two, twenty-two, and now we just copy. Sixteen thirty-five. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> That's a lot of trains. Did I increase this one? No, not yet. We should probably increase it. Sixteen twenty-nine. Okay. Uh, let's check on this production here. 200 production, 100 shipment. Kind of makes sense. Where is this beautiful train? It's waiting. Okay. Uh, and it's waiting for what now? Yeah, that's that's stupid. I should put uh, a few, for example, I should put one signal here. Yeah, exactly for this reason. Come around here. For, for the trains to get the um, notification. Hey, you should start going earlier. Yeah, this is going to be a bottleneck. Why do I... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You see, now this guy is waiting. Or this guy. And it could have been going. Yeah, there we'll get one here. And that's going to be actually a priority one. And it stopped. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow, that is a long, long episode. What's going on here? Did we deliver something? Not yet. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Well, do not forget the final step <laughs> of the puzzle. Hmm...
Now this guy is going to have consumers. Or not yet. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yes. Okay, sure, sure. So... Ah, no, but it doesn't produce anything to have consumers yet, right? I think that's how it works. 193. Oh, these are going to lose money for sure, as they are. But what can you do with these long, 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 long chains of production? Yeah, these guys are actually making me money, although I'm just producing 400 at the moment. It's going to be beautiful, beautiful money-making line. You know, I could... Make a station entrance and maybe give them another path. I don't know if they're going to use it, though. This... Uh, curious, very curious. Also here, let's see. This can be a one way. Yeah, but they're very slow. This one ways. Are you using it? Come on, come on. You see? They're very beautiful and very fast. No. Why are you not using it? Use it! <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, I guess it's kind of useless then. I'm also concerned. Maybe I should um, add them some cargo buildings. Maybe one is enough. Here? Am I going to be able to? No. Nope. What if we delete this? This. this. No one wants to use it, so goodbye. And here. And... Goodbye. And goodbye here as well. Okay. Wow. Wow. I think that's it. I really hope that we will get some production. Oh, there you go. Oh, come on, guys. Consumers. Providence. Scene Labs. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we are down on the ore. Oh, the iron. Oof. Everything here... Is, like, we're not doing well. Um, hmm. Maybe I should add... Maybe I should add... Uh, yeah, because this station gets a lot of stuff. Especially on this terminal. Things are crazy. Uh, by the way, also here I am doing... No, here I'm not doing it. Yeah, here I'm also not doing it. Uh, the drop... Is on this station, so I cannot... Bring all the 400 to the NEDC, unfortunately. Thousand six. Where is all the... Ah, they were picking up grain. Okay. Honestly, I might end up having less trains if I don't pick up this grain and I directly deliver it to the food plant. I might decide to do that. I might. Because I will remove some of these trains from here and I can make them faster as well. Because right now I made them with 80 kilometers per hour because they have too many stops and too many places where they are going to stop. They, these trains are really stopping a lot. So it doesn't make sense for them to have the... Oh wow, this is just doing whatever it wants, right? Maybe they're waiting somewhere too much. 
What are you waiting for now? Oof. Oh, there is actually not... Well, that's interesting. I don't know how this happened. Cool. Um, since we already did plenty of time anyway, let's uh, just check very quickly if we have... We don't have overloaded stations. Why are you overloaded? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, actually, we have better... 401. I will replace you all with... No, actually, let's sell some, because this is going to increase the rate plenty. 360. And let's replace you all with... Oh, no, I don't have a better one, I guess. I could use this one. This is the one that I'm currently using, right? 60 kilometers. Hmm. Okay, let's replace. No, that's not possible. Really? Collision. Oh, are you kidding me? Collision, my ass. Yeah, and also they don't look as good, to be honest. No. I mean, I hope I get a dump. Not a dump truck, but... Wait, what? What was I using here? Maybe I don't have it? No, I'm so dumb. That's not the problem. This is the problem. There you go. This one. But yeah, but that's the one that I was using, right? Yeah, I guess until I get another one with side stakes, I will use it. Because it looks better when they get the uh, locks on top of the truck. Very nice. Well, we upgraded the road for nothing then. Okay, we need a one more here. And... Sure, that's it, right? Ooh, I should probably do something about the goods. But I guess that will be in the next episode, because this one... is very, very big already. Big, big episode in which we did a lot of things. Well, with this comes the end of it. I hope you liked it. What do you think of uh, the good production setup? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.